members, I'm an advocate against romance scams. Some of you have seen our petition online um, through the anti-scam groups on Facebook and different social media platforms. I want to tell the administrators thank you so much for allowing us to post this petition multiple times over the year. It's working. We have over 5,300 signatures, which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much. Just a little bit of background. Uh, my mother's friend was the one that was scammed. Uh, she was being scammed by somebody using Brian's photos. One of those photos being him in his military uniform with his last name. Um, I was able to Google Brian, find him, and message him. By the time I messaged him, Brian was aware of scammers using his photos, and he had already been trying to fight this six months prior to me contacting him. Unfortunately, Brian was ready to wash his hands of it. Uh, accounts were popping up faster than what he could get removed, and he was also seeing that great generic message that we all see on Facebook that these fraudulent um, accounts were within community standards. Uh, it's discouraging, and we've all been there, or at least most of us have, and so we needed to do some investigating more. We didn't know what had already been done out there, if there was anything left to be done. So we decided to do a report for Facebook on multiple accounts that were turned in, how many remained, how many were removed. Sadly, those numbers weren't very good, and they did decide to meet with us um, back in October. They said that they would work with us as a team, which they have. Um, we have had good communication with them. Um, unfortunately, the communication is pretty general, very basic. Um, we definitely want more answers than what we had been given. In March, we had meetings with the Pentagon, with um, the Federal Trade Commission, as well as some of the congressional leaders that we had met with back in October, which was uh, Senator Warner, uh, Senator Feinstein's office, and Congressman Nunes, um, all of which wanted to know the update on how Facebook was working with us. When we went there, uh, they were able to tell us that there was a law in place called the 230 Communications Decency Act. And this law allows social media to not be responsible for anything that is posted within their um, platform, and this law was built back in 1996. I think we can all agree that in the last 20 years, many things have changed, um, and on social media, sadly, not for the better. You're seeing human trafficking, child pornography, and multiple different scams out there besides just the romance scams. Um, we decided that this law needed to be amended under um, the focus of identity theft. Therefore, we have put out a proposal along with the amendment and sent it to 120 to 130 different congressional members that hopefully can champion our amendment, send it through either the House or Senate, whichever they belong to, and move it on to the next department to pass and get to our president to sign and put back into law as an amendment to the 230 Communications Decency Act. So that is where we're at right now. Um, we did receive multiple letters from constituents in the United States as well as um, all over the world. Uh, for the United States constituents, uh, those letters all went out to your senators and to your representatives. I wanna thank you so much because we've already received an email from Senator Toomey's office, which is from Pennsylvania, a state that Brian and I are not in, and it was because of the constituent letter and they wanna meet with us to talk about the proposal. That meeting is probably gonna be coming up in September. Unfortunately, in August, all of Congress is on their summer leave and we aren't out able to get together uh, to make it out to DC uh, anytime in July. Uh, both Brian and I have prior engagements. So I will keep you all posted. I plan to do a video once a week and to update you with our meetings, with any media spots that we may have. So please subscribe, uh, please pass on the petition, sign it, tweet it, share it. Uh, everybody's voice counts. So until then, uh, we'll talk with you next week, hopefully. Bye.